So it just, it just has this cool fish look. Let's go ahead and go to the program and see what this does. Okay, so when we start the program here, it's going to be looking for something red. If it sees something red, it's going to open up its jaw. And then if the ultrasonic sensor sees something within four centimeters, uh, it will close the jaw and we'll get this chewing sound. So let's check this out. Okay, so there's the opening of that jaw. And let me put my hand in here and try not to get bit. Four centimeters, pretty close. And it got me. Okay, let me do that again so you guys can see that a little better. Okay, so there's that mouth opening. Four centimeters. It's pretty close. Oh, got me. When you press these wings down, it actually starts the program. Give you a close-up of the large motor there. And when the ultrasonic sensor, sonic sensor, and we'll just hit this. When I start the program, you get the idea. The program is going to basically be run off of degrees. So you're, you can see right now this gyro sensor is showing zero degrees. If I rotate it this way, we're going to get positive degrees. I keep returning it, turning it. There is 45 right there, positive 45. And if I rotate it back, now I'm in the negatives, and there is negative 45. So when I go over the program, that's gonna be the difference between zero to more than zero, but not over 45 degrees, and then the opposite way from zero to negative 44, and then anything over that. So let's go to the program. So there's four different parts to this program. Let me show you each one. So if I just start the program, and the gyro sensor does not detect any movement, he'll just sit here and sleep. If the gyro sensor detects uh, something greater than zero degrees, but less than 45, like that, we will get the hearts and this green pulsing light. If we go past 45 degrees, we'll get the angry eyes and the solid green light. So one more time, zero to 45 degrees, actually zero to 44 degrees, we'll get the hearts and that green pulsing light. If we go 45 or more, we get the angry eyes and the solid green light. Let's go ahead and reset. Okay, everybody, we're back to zero degrees and sleeping. So if we rotate this gyro sensor zero degrees to negative 44 degrees, we're gonna get the angry eyes and this solid orange light. If we rotate it more than negative 44 degrees, we're gonna get the dizzy eyes and the pulsing red lights. So it's a cool program, easy build. Let's go ahead and recap uh, what everything does. So again, from zero to 44 degrees, we're gonna get the hearts and the pulsing green lights. So you have if to we eat go over and be... There we go. Isn't that hilarious? Okay, so if you also just don't do anything, you will start to fall asleep. Wow, all these cables everywhere. Okay, so watch his eyeballs. When you don't do anything to him, you just leave him alone. He'll get sleepy. So we'll just watch his eyes. They will slowly start to close. There you go. Okay, so he's falling asleep. And let me put this sideways here because this is funny too. You wake him up by pressing the back. That's what he sometimes does. He actually goes too far forward and does like a headstand. And if you try to like pet him while he's sleeping, yeah, he gets mad. 
Okay, puppy, I'm not, I'm not messing with you anymore. So this is a really cool project. What we have not been able to figure out is what is the combination? Maybe you guys can let me know. When you feed him a certain, I don't know if it's a color and pet him, he'll get heart eyeballs and he will jump around. In fact, let me go ahead and try to show that to you just on the programming. Okay, on the programming, for those of you that download the puppy program, I believe it's HPY for happy. Look at that, look at how cool that is. Look at that. Isn't that cool? I'm just basically <clears throat> lowering and lifting my phone. Vicious right there. Vicious. I just don't want this thing going off the table. So let me do that one more time. I think I got a little close there. So we come on in. We should see it go. Might already be going really fast. Don't get my phone. And he, it's so cool to have him come out and lunge at you like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try this again. I'm gonna come on, I'm gonna kind of push it to the side so you can see him come out in slow motion, just because I think that's going to be cool. So So that, I guess that seemed like it was going forward and then the backward. So that's uh, forwards and backwards kind of motion for its walking. Okay, and the next part of the program is uh, what it's called the grab. So it's going to, uh, 
basically lift its head, uh, uncurl its trunk, roar, and then pick up this attachment. Okay, the next program we're going to look at is the lift and roar. So it'll basically lift its head and roar. Or sleeping. And then it should raise its hand like this, or arm. Just like that. And then you just press this touch sensor. Gives out a T-Rex roar. It's going to beat its chest like that. And then it says, hey, feed me. So we know it's looking for a color because it's blue. My Cargo Connect people, I got the package. So I'm just going to feed it something yellow. Ooh, he liked that. And that's so cool. Okay, lifts his arm up like that, touch sensor. Okay, he wants something yellow to eat. There you go, gorilla. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey, guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay, guys, take care.